Hi there. Today we are going to practice writing tens and ones, and they can go up to the number 100. So to start, it says type the missing numbers. The number we're given is seven. So when I count, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, in order to make tens, that means that this number needs to be higher or greater than 10. Is seven greater than 10? No, it's not. So how many tens do I have then? I have none, I have zero. How about ones? I have seven. Next number we have is 19. Now what we can do here is we can divide this. I'm going to draw a line here and here. And this side where the nine is, is my one side. And this side, the other side where the one is, that is my tens. So looking at it, how many tens do I have? I have a one there, so that tells me there is one ten. I have nine ones, so I should put a nine here. So again, I have one ten and nine ones. Next number I have is three. So I'm going to use my scratch pad again, and I'm going to go like this. now. First is my ones, and next to it is my tens. Do I have anything in the tens place? There's nothing there. I can write a zero there if I need to, to hold the place. So I have zero tens, but how many ones do I have? Three. You're doing a great job job. Let's keep it up. Next, I have one. So think about it for a second. Is one greater than 10? No, it is not. So that should give you a hint that there's no tens. So I have no tens and there's only one one. Next is 13. I'm going to use my scratch pad again. I know that 13 is greater than 10. So I'm going to do my chart here. First I have my ones place and then I have my tens place. So looking here, what digit is in the tens place? One. That means I have one ten. And what digit is in the ones place? A three. So that means the three goes in the ones place. See if you can type it incorrectly or write it down to make sure you're right. Excellent job. Next we have the number two. Is two greater than 10? No, it's not. So do I have any tens? Right, I don't. How about ones? The answer is already given. It's two. And we are more than halfway done. Keep it up. Next, I have the number 20. I know 20 is higher than 10, so I'm going to do my handy dandy chart. I have my ones place and my tens place. Let's look in the tens place. What digit is in the tens place? Go ahead and say it. There's a two. So that means I have two tens. What digit is in the ones place? There's a zero. That means I have zero ones. Using that little chart, that T chart, can help you figure out the place. Next, I have the number 12. Is 12 greater than 10? 
Yes, it is. So again, setting up that T, I'm going to label what goes on this side. What goes here? Yep, that's the ones. What goes here? That's the tens. How many tens do I have? One. How many ones do I have? Two. Good job. Two more to go. Number is 14. 14. Let's check this one out. So it is higher than 10. Let's make our T chart again. And I'm going to make my tens and my ones. Take a moment and think about it. How many tens and how many ones? I hope you said one ten and four ones. Last one, 16. Let's make that T-chart one more time because it's greater than 10. And here is my tens place. And here is my ones place. How many tens do I have? How many ones do I have? Let's check it out. One ten and six ones. Great job. Keep up the good work and I will see you next time.